Okay, on this job we got a client who accidentally punctured the refrigerant line. He's trying to <coughs> replace the. He's trying trying to install a, a compressor start kit, and just used a little bit too long of a screw, and ended up puncturing that line. So we are going to seal up the hole, vacuum it down recharge it and get it up and going again so see how that goes
Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Greg here. So I thought I would bring you up to speed here. I'm leaving a job right now where we uh, repaired an eight-year-old Goodman. So this gentleman was trying to install a hard start kit uh, on his own and accidentally with, you know, because he was using like a two-inch zip uh, or inch and a half zip or something like that, he, he accidentally uh, punctured his line set inside the condenser so right behind the panel on the left side there's the uh, header tubing uh, that goes into the condenser and unfortunately he punctured that so he called his company out which is one of the big companies in town I'm so anti big company I'm so sorry I'm always bagging on him uh, but he calls the big company out and they and it says, uh, they say you need a new air conditioning system. Eight-year-old Goodman with a puncture in the line set, a puncture in the, you know, the condenser. It says you need a, new, a whole new air conditioning system. R22 is going obsolete, and you're not going to be able to get it anymore, uh, you know, a few years down the road. And I'm like, so. So he's telling me this story, and it's funny to me because... It's like these companies will just do whatever they can to, to get the sale, right? So, so he's telling me the story, and uh, so I, I just started thinking in my head, I'm like, man, am I missing something here? Like, let's just, you know, got an eight-year-old system, let's just fix the puncture, evacuate it, charge it back up with 11, you know, 11 pounds of refrigerant, and uh, you didn't have any issues before this happened with your system. There were no signs of leaking or problems with your cooling at all. No, there was no problems with my cooling. Everything was great. I just accidentally punctured this. I'm like, it sounds like a straightforward repair to me. So let's uh, just try it. I say we just move forward with the repair. And uh, he's like, yeah, that sounds great to me. I do have an appointment with the big company tomorrow they're gonna come out and quote me on a new system. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them come out and do that. So when they came out, they, uh, once they got, right, once they caught uh, wind that another company was gonna come out and repair, they were like, oh yeah, we can repair. Yeah, we can repair. Uh, so, so he calls his boss and all of a sudden, <clears throat> You know, he calls his boss, and uh, and his boss says, "No, we can't repair because we're afraid that a small amount of copper may have dropped into the suction line, may, may have dropped into the uh, refrigerant lines when it got punctured." Uh, come on, man! I don't know about that, honestly. Like, when you prick the tubing that is full of pressure pushing outwards. I just can't see it could happen but I just can't see it happen at that a small amount of copper falling into that tubing when you got all that pressure because he said that thing was just just freaking blasting out it scared him to death you know like as it was you know line set punctures you know what happens when the condenser tubing gets popped it's just all you know and it's immediate it's not like it sucks in and then blows out, you know, so it, it, it's, it's all positive pressure outwards. So I'm glad he went with me because it saved him some money. He didn't have to buy a new system. So pretty straightforward repair. I was able to uh, braze over the small hole in the copper. I pressure tested it to 250 PSI let it all out a ton of oil cut all over my stuff i had stuff in the, like the line of sight there <clears throat> so my my vacuum pump got blasted with oil from inside the line set uh we were able to evacuate it down and we evacuated down to 300 microns and everything looked good so far so charged up with our with R22, uh, 11 pounds R22. I know I could have gone 407C, but I, with this particular job, 
Uh, we discussed it, and he said he wanted to go with R22 if he could, and that later on down the road he would he, he would opt for, you know, if he was put in a situation where he had to go 407C, he would. So we did talk about it. He just chose not to go with it, so it's, it's all good. Um, so uh, basically got him up and going, checked the temp split, pressures were great, and uh, the job was done. So so that's, a, that's about it for this job. I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed. I just shot the video, but I didn't do any introductory to it. So uh, we'll see how this video comes out. But uh, you guys have a great day, and I will see you on the next video.